All right then, so before we go any further with our code, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about naming conventions in Laravel for our models, controllers, methods, and other things. Now, I also want to stress that these are not requirements. You can call your different routes or methods whatever you want in Laravel. These are just a set of conventions that are recommended and used by a lot of programmers who use Laravel. And the idea behind this is to keep our code files and methods and routes logical, organized and easy to understand for ourselves, as well as other developers who might at some point be viewing our code. So first of all, the model itself. How would we name a model? Well, we generally name it to be a singular of whatever the database table is called. So we've got a database table called pizzas to store pizza records. We'd name the model pizza with a capital P. If we stored ninja records inside a ninjas table, then we call the model ninja. That makes sense, right? Next up controllers. And again, pretty simple. We just call the controller, whatever the model is called, followed by controller. So in our case, pizza controller. If we had a ninja model, it would be ninja controller. And we have a capital P for pizza, C for controller here as well. Okay, so the actions or methods inside that controller also follow a convention as well. We've got three examples here, but there are more. And in the case of index, that would be to show all of the records or a list of a lot of the records. So when we go to forward slash pizzas in our app, then we use this method, index, and that is to get a lot of records and index them on a page. That makes sense. And the view we would use is often called index as well. Now, at the minute in our app, we call the view pizzas, but we are going to change it to follow this convention shortly. So the action to get all of the records or a list of the records and show them would be index and the view would be index as well. And the route for this would be just forward slash whatever the resource is called, in our case, pizzas. But if we stored blogs, it would be forward slash blogs. If we stored ninjas, it would be forward slash ninjas. Makes sense. And this over here, this is the request type. We've only yet worked with get requests, but we will work with other requests in the future. So the type of request in this case is a get request. We're getting the data, right? Okay, so the second one down here, show, that would be used to show a single item or a single record on a view. So we might have the ID of a particular record. We query the database for that and we show that single record to the user on a page. So that's the action we would use for that. And the view would also be called show. And in most cases, the view and the action are called the same thing. Now, the route for this would be forward slash the resource pizzas in our case, forward slash followed by some identifier or slug for that particular record. So we could grab the ID, use it to query the database in this action right here, and then inject it into the show view. Okay, so imagine now we had a form to add a new uh, record to the database. So we go to forward slash pizzas forward slash create to see that view, to see that form, and we'd use a create action on the pizza controller to return the create view, okay? So again, this is just convention. You don't have to follow this. I'm going to follow it from now on just so everything's structured a bit better. And there are also going to be more rows added to this convention chart as we go on. And I'll talk about those as we add them. But for now, let us go and change the name of some of our views to match this convention. So if we just take a little look at the routes file at the minute, we're already following that convention that I just showed. We already have the correct URL structure for these two different routes. And we also have the correct controller and the correct action for each one. So that's all fine. And if we take a look at the controller up here, if I open up the pizza controller, we have the index method and we have the show method. Now at the minute, these are returning two different views, pizzas and details. Now they don't follow the convention we're meant to use. This one should be indexed to match the actual method we use. And this one should be show to match the method here. So let's change those first of all. So what I'm going to do is come down to details and rename that to show.blade.php. And then the pizzas one, I'm going to rename to index.blade.php. Now, also what I'm going to do is create a new folder over here and call this pizzas. 
and I'll explain why I'm doing this in a second and I'm going to place the index in there if I can and also the show view. Now the reason I'm doing that is because in the future we might be working with more than one data type or resource type. For example, we might also be storing something like kebabs, you know, or burgers. Now, if for each resource type we have a separate view, we might have an index view for burgers, an index view for kebabs, and also an index view for pizzas. Now we can't have three of those all directly inside the views folder because they're all going to be called the same. That wouldn't work. So for each resource type, typically you'd find a folder, which is the name of that resource, and then the different views for that resource inside that folder. So if we had burgers or kebabs, we might make a new folder called burgers and store index, show, create, etc. inside that folder. So now we've updated those, that's correct, but we need to reference the correct view here. So first of all, let's instead of pizzas return pizzas dots and then it's index. And the reason it's pizzas first is because we're going into the pizzas folder. Then we say dot to go into the folder and then inside there we want the index view. So let's do the same down here. It's pizzas dot and then it's show. Hope that makes sense. So if we save this now, then come over to the actual app. Hopefully this all still works. Nothing will change. But if I refresh now, then everything still works. And if I go to pizzas forward slash one, for example, then we should still get this page as well. Now at the minute, we're not doing much, but we will do that later on. What I'd also like to do is now set up a new route for a view which is going to return some kind of form so we can add a new pizza. And we saw on that chart with all the conventions that this should be called create. So let's say route and then get. This is going to be a get request for a view eventually. Forward slash pizzas, forward slash create. And then in the controller, so pizza controller, we're going to use an action called create. And then over in the controller, wherever that is, I've got it open up here. I'm going to now create another public function called create. And inside here, all we're going to do is return a view. And that view is going to be inside the pizzas folder and we're going to call it create. And that's all we're going to do for now. So if I save this and then come to the views, I need to create a new view called create blade.php and inside that view we'll just copy this jazz and paste it and it still extends the layout and we still have a section called content and in there we'll delete this and we'll just say something like add a new pizza save that and now if we try all this out if we go to pizzas forward slash create it should work okay pizza list it says create that's not working okay the reason that's not working is because it's looking at the url over here and it's saying okay well this url matches this route because remember id could be a string it could be a number and it's looking at this and saying well okay the id is create so how do we get around this well all you need to do is grab this route and put it above this one because they rank in order of preference. So if this route is above this one, it will look at this literally and say, okay, well, if this route exists, then this will take precedence over this one. So anything else and this will work, but if the word here is create, then this will take preference. So save that and let's refresh over here and we can see now we get that new create view, add a new pizza.